All right, hope everybody's doing good. It's been a while since I've made a video. In the quest to visit all 50 states, this is number 41. You wanna tell everybody what state we're in? Omaha, Nebraska. Well, Omaha's the city, Nebraska. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Nebraska's the state. State number 41, uh, flew in this morning. Today is Saturday, September 2nd. It's Labor Day weekend. Uh, flew from Sarasota to Omaha, connected in Atlanta on Delta. I've got a really good deal, surprisingly, out of Sarasota, which is usually more money than Tampa and Fort Myers. But anyway, we're here. We did the Omaha Zoo today, which is supposed to be one of the best zoos in the country. It's like the number third rated zoo in America or something. And I said, how could that be in Omaha, Nebraska? I mean, I'm not knocking Omaha, it's just a small city. And how could one of the best zoos there is be there? But it was really, really good. I, I believe it now. So we didn't really take video because it's so big, they say you need a whole day to do it. Our flight got in around 10 a.m. and we just raced right over to the zoo. And it is, it's about 5.30 right now. We just got back from the zoo. And uh, this is a mainstay suites hotel, something like one of the choice hotel brands in Omaha. So anyhow, here's some pictures from the zoo and it was really good. They had the same animals as anywhere else because we've been to a lot of zoos and I've been to a lot of zoos over the years. Same animals as anywhere else, but the exhibits were really cool. Like they had indoor caves, they had an indoor jungle, an indoor desert, and then all the standard stuff like giraffes and rhinos and all of that. But here's some pictures that Melissa took at the zoo today. I'll throw those in right here. So this is the pedestrian bridge between Nebraska and Iowa, downtown Omaha right here behind us. What do you think of the bridge? It's really pretty, especially at night. Yeah, it is. Nebraska side is red and the Iowa side is blue. Good morning, day two of the Nebraska trip. And I don't think you can see the sign around the truck. There it is, we just ate at Taco John's. We just ate at Taco John's. We're still in Omaha. Uh, hotel was pretty good. We're gonna go to Menards. I love Menards. You've seen it in previous videos. And we're gonna go check out Menards, see if we find anything we want. And then we're gonna head out of the city because like I've said before, a whole trip, you shouldn't spend it just in the city because America is, it's cities, it's small towns, it's suburbs, it's country, it's everything in between. And I like to see all of it. So we're gonna head out into the country and the farmlands of Nebraska, but I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Okay, so I just watched that clip back to make sure it was okay to put it in the video. And I heard this noise in the background and it's my wife over here. You wanna tell everybody what you're doing? I got this color. <laughs> Disney. Yeah, you're, she's, the Miss color Disney over that. here is coloring the uh, Disney princesses with markers so that's what that noise was if you heard it just left menards we're about 20 miles outside omaha at the nebraska highway rest area interstate 80. so what did we get i got a halloween steak yeah miss halloween over here uh flamingo solar <laughs> two um you got a camping bowl. the camping light for a tent yep it's like three bucks then you got a house. So that's actually something that we needed for the house at home to put in front of the garage. Yep. And then I got seeds for lavender. And then I got a Halloween bottle. Yeah, Menard is awesome. It's like Lowe's or Home Depot, but the prices are better and they have more stuff. And it's then, like a discount Home Depot. What did you get? Trimmer line? Yeah. Okay, I don't think anybody cares about that. <laughs> it's about noon. We have a uh, 5 a.m. flight home tomorrow from Omaha back to Florida. And we've been in Omaha the entire trip, so I wanted to get out and see the country and just explore a different part of the state. So we're on the way to Homestead National Historical Park, which is run by the National Park Service. It's about an hour and a half outside Omaha 
and it should be a, a good time. It's run by the National Park Service, and there's a big museum. It's about the Homestead Act of like 18 something, I forget the year. Just American history. So that's what we're doing. Should be a nice ride to get there. And then I think later on, on the way back towards Omaha, a few hours from now, we're gonna go to Lincoln, uh, see the state capitol, have dinner in Lincoln, something like that. Just got done at Homestead National Historical Park. It was really good. That's the museum in there. It's way bigger than it looks. It has a basement. And just, uh, Midwestern cornfield over here and there's some historical farm equipment here and this cabin was where an actual homesteader lived a long time ago and the Homestead Act of 1862 was what this museum was about the Homestead Act of 1862 gave up to 160 acres of free lands to anyone who would farm on it and they had to live there for five years and grow crops and then it was their land they got the title and everything and this was how, a part of how the West was settled, a really fascinating museum. You can read more about it. That's just a very basic explanation. But it's a really good museum, local thing to do out here in Nebraska. It wasn't just a Nebraska thing. It was a whole bunch of different states, but in the Midwest here, the museum explained, this is where the homesteaders were the most successful. Driving around in Nebraska, just looking at the corn. This is the world's largest time capsule in Seward, Nebraska, about 20 miles west of Lincoln. And I'm recording the audio after the fact because it's basically at somebody's house and it just seemed weird to record the narration while I was there since it was a very quiet neighborhood and there was nobody around. And the houses around it, including the one that had the time capsule, it looks like people were home. So anyhow, it's the world's largest time capsule, and they're going to open it up in just about two years from now. It only had a 50-year lifespan, which is pretty short for a time capsule, but there's two cars inside there and a whole bunch of other things from, I believe it was uh, the 70s when they put it in, and then they added the pyramid on top a few years later in the early 80s. Uh, read about it on Roadside America online. Uh, that was a really good resource. But yeah, this is it. The world's largest time capsule. So we're returning the rental vehicle to Alamo, uh, Omaha Airport. Middle of the night. It's about 3.15. Our flight's at 5. There's nobody here. It were a little bit early, but we kind of ran out of stuff to do. And I think I forgot to tell you guys, we got the F-150 rental vehicle because I booked the uh, cheapest rate, which is where you just, you get the best price, but you get whatever they have available. And it's usually it's an economy car, but it was like all trucks. We got to pick from six vehicles. It was like one SUV and five trucks. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that's gonna wrap up the trip from here in the rental car garage at Omaha Airport. All we basically did since the last clip, we ate dinner at Cheddar's in Lincoln, Nebraska, and then we drove back to Omaha. We stopped on the way at the highway arrest area, Interstate 80, took a nap in the truck. Then we went back downtown Omaha and just walked around the riverfront a little bit in the middle of the night, and now we're here. It's a good trip. The zoo was definitely the best part of the trip. Um, Everything was good though, you know, for being a smaller state that's not really known for too much, it was a good fun trip. So thanks for watching, I will see you guys in the next one.